spot. I don't really know where I am. Coffee in hand, walking across the Brooklyn Bridge. Let's do a quick recap for my last New York City vlog. During my train ride back into Manhattan, I met a lovely lady and chatted about life. I visited St. Patrick's Cathedral, Rockefeller Center, enjoyed the blue skies after a few days of rain in the city, and took the iconic subway. Today is my last day exploring in town, and we're not gonna stay in Manhattan. We're gonna go to Brooklyn. I went to Brooklyn last time, I really liked it. Remind me a lot of Portland versus more of like big city New York. I keep seeing people post good food spots um, in Williamsburg, which is in Brooklyn. We're gonna head to Williamsburg. Also, compared to last time, I'm feeling way better today. I think just a proper night's sleep. I think I was super dehydrated. I'm really bad at drinking water because I won't have to go to the washroom a lot. So last time when I got home, I like chugged a bunch of water and I'm gonna be better about it today. Which just reminded me I left my kombucha in the fridge. That's fine. I like to always have like a granola bar, some kind of snack in my bag, just in case. I ate my clip bar yesterday. So we're gonna go to CVS and pick up some granola bars and I shall show you what they have to offer. Nonetheless, I am getting hungry and looks like the G train to go all the way down to Williamsburg and Brooklyn is about 36 minutes. But that's why I'm an advocate for getting data wherever you are traveling. I think it's definitely worth investment. Yeah, you can look it up before you leave your hotel, but in this instance, the four and six trains were just sitting still. So I thought, okay, I'll take a different way. I've already paid for a metro ticket. Also, I'm in exploration mode, so I don't have to be anywhere by a certain timeline. Now we're just on this street <laughs> and probably walking the wrong direction knowing me. So we're in Long Island City, I discovered because I got on the wrong train, but I couldn't wait any longer to grab some food. So I'm at Little Chef Little Cafe. I ordered a Caprese waffle sandwich. It was only vegetarian one on the menu, which I try my best to eat pretty plant-based. I'm pretty flexible when it comes to like, if there's eggs or milk within bread or the base of something. I basically just don't like to eat eggs. I like cheese though. I still love cheese. But eggs, I don't drink dairy milk. So we're trying our best and I'm finding New York to be pretty flexible to have a vegetarian option. I'm excited. Cool view behind me. It's a beautiful sunny day and it's quite quiet here. Streets are much cleaner. I'm really enjoying it actually. 
caprese or waffle sandwich with my own fork and knife because I always bring this with me so I don't have to take plastic ones. And it was a little late so she gave me a little muffin. I'll eat that later. Let's give it a try. Nice and warm, a little savory, a little sweet because waffles sometimes have sugar in them. Coffee in hand from Devotion. The only reason I know how to say that is because Lady in Whole Foods, which is a great place for free bathrooms, I wear. Did you get that coffee? And I was like, uh, Bond Street. I did remember that. I'm so bad at directions. Anyway, she said, Where did you get that Devotion coffee? Otherwise, I would have tried pronouncing it like Devotion. I guess that means devotion. We are now walking towards the Brooklyn Bridge, which is great because last time I was here, I actually didn't cross the Brooklyn Bridge. I was with someone else and we got about halfway across the bridge and then we turned around and went back into Manhattan. So I'm determined to walk across it this time. I don't even know how long it is. And then on the other side, I'm gonna catch the subway, which I think my ticket's still valid for. Go back to Grand Central. It is definitely different here. Plenty of new high rises, so this is not the area I was in before. I was in Dunbow, I realized, which made me feel more Portland esque. But I do like it on this side, feels a little bit more spacious, not so cookie cutter, but still some freaking huge buildings. So here do we go. I was about to show you that bridge. I think that's the Manhattan Bridge, not the Brooklyn Bridge. And of course, now I have to look it up like a dummy. Sure enough, that's the Manhattan Bridge. What an angle. We're currently walking across the Brooklyn Bridge. We have the Manhattan Bridge, and far in the distance is the Statue of Liberty. We're back on the Manhattan side now. What a chaotic experience walking through that. But I got my time lapse, my makeshift GoPro. has come to a close. It's been a really special time to be back in the city that so many people dream of coming to and to come and visit it for the third time. After this pandemic, it's felt like a really nice time and just spend time with a family member I was visiting. I didn't quite have the same spark as per se before because I've been here before and it was nice to kind of feel more local, know the transit system and not feel so overwhelmed by what I was walking into. I'm tired. 
a lot of walking to get around that city. It's quite big. And exploring Brooklyn today was fantastic and I'm glad that I made the trip. But this concludes the New York portion of my travels. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do, or just give this video a thumbs up. It is free, people. It's a free way to help keep me making future content that hopefully you will like. So if you have any comments, give them below. I'm still new to this vlogging thing and also solo travel is hard, people. And it's difficult to do on your own, filming, <laughs> making sure you walk in the right direction. Thank you for watching and we will catch you next time. In we're currently still sitting at the airport. I don't want to have to go to the bathroom. So it's kind of like, oh, my camera scratched there.